Democrats are back in the push for a public option, but don't say we didn't warn you. In fact, they warned you. Take a listen to Iowa Senator Tom Harkin from last December. As I said before, this bill is not complete. I've used the analogy of a starter home, in which we can add additions and enhancements as we go into the future. Yeah, well, that was seven months ago, and now a few Democrats led by California Congressman Pete Stark are planning to introduce a bill to get the ball rolling again on a public option. Now, they even claim it's going to cut the deficit. Of course, we heard that before. Scoring it tonight, Penn Financial's Matt McCall, Fox contributor Monica Crowley, Lee Hawkins of the Wall Street Journal, and in L.A., Fox contributor Leslie Marshall. Guys, good to have you all here. Well, again, Monica, we shouldn't be surprised. They said we were going to, this is a starter home, right. this, this uh, bill that we have now, right. and eventually we're going to get the full package. And remember, Speaker Pelosi once said, well, we need to pass this bill to find out what's in it. Now I guess they're looking at it going, oh, we didn't put a public option in. we got to get back to work. Look, the Democrats realize 60% of the American people hate this thing. They hate Obamacare and they want it repealed. They're also looking at the polls. 11 percent confidence in the U.S. Congress. Democrats know they're going to lose their majority, especially in the House. Their window is slamming shut, so they're trying to get this through yeah. Leslie, right now. what I don't understand, why, I mean, I know that Tom Harkin wants a public option. I mean, I'm sure he wants complete government control of health care. Obama, I, I believe, wants that as well, even though he says otherwise. But why not just wait to, to even mention the public option until after the election. Because, quite frankly, if you look at the polls, Monica, we're going to disagree on this panel for once. Uh, if you look at if you look at the polls, basically, uh, you know, Americans are angry about what money. It's the economy, stupid. This is going to reduce the deficit. The CBO has said that. Democrats no, have said that. Nonpartisan, nonpartisan economists have said Leslie, that. Leslie, hold on a second. You got to answer my question. Everything's Leslie. about I, money right Hold on, right hold, on now. hold on, hold on. You got to answer my question. Why, politically speaking, you have to realize the public still doesn't like the health care law as it now is. Uh, they're still against the public option. Why push for it now? Why not wait if you're a Democrat who wants it for after the election? Well, yes, you have a point. However, again, answering your question because it is about the money and because that is what drives the polls on the president, the House and the Senate, Democrats and Republicans as well. But nobody believes it'll save money, Leslie. That's slide. the point. Nobody believes it'll save money except the Democrats pushing it. Well, that's not entirely true. It it's is, not 100% oh, of America. Well, what poll Any says poll. 100% of Americans disagree with it? Any poll. I the mean, majority, Matt, the fact is, is that we are looking at a variety of polls here, from, from Reuters to, uh, to Gallup to, of course, Rasmussen to Fox. I, th I think the time is kind of interesting because there's a lot going on right now. So I think the timing is actually perfect for the Democrats because they're going to try to sneak this in. And I think a lot of the major medias may not pick up well, on frankly, this. Well, like frankly, it's Fox not is. too sneaky. They're, but, they're but announcing I, it now. They are announcing it, but it, there's so much else going on around the world right now. And with the ratings so low, and they want to get this in before elections because they know they're going to lose out to the Republicans. So this is kind of their last gasp in my but, mind. But Lee, I, again, I'm just wondering why not just wait until after the... I mean, what happens to the election is going to happen. I This is not not going to help them well, it looks in the midterms. The 128 co-sponsors of this bill are trying to burnish their political reputations uh, in anticipation of this election. And so the idea here is I don't see this going anywhere. This is mm. the thing about it. When you look, what is this? Is the Senate going to take this up now, knowing that the election is coming? It, it, it's a yeah, moot no point way. because it's not no going to happen. But it ain't happening. Lee raises but, a great but, point. But guys, I mean, the, hold, the, hold the, on, key, the key for the Democrats going into November is mobilizing their base. Their base is very dispirited with Afghanistan, with no public option in this bill. So even if they don't get very far with this, making the argument now, they can really gain some traction politically. Leslie, and remember, the, the administration's own actuaries, Leslie, say, hey, our initial estimates are all wrong. Go on, this Les. is going to cost a lot more. Well, 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 Monica, even you said, I mean, when you look when you look at the polls, guy, you know, in retrospect, when you look at the polls, a lot of people, one of, one of the things they didn't like about the, the plan was the watered down version that left out the public option, which most Americans did favor. A, B, the Democrats have the votes now, and I and I hope I'm wrong, but after November, like you guys are alluding to, I hope you're wrong, uh, they may not have them. So why not push it now? Yeah, Leslie's right. You really have nothing to lose pushing this right now, I don't think. I mean, you're, you're setting yourself up. The 
get that far left vote. I think, vote. You, do. Like, I think, I think you do because the public in general thinks government is too big. They know that this would but add to the they, size they, of government. They've already lost and those they votes. Know that this is not going to help. But they've already lost those votes. I think that this is kind of the last gasp. But let's just at least get the far left on our side. I don't think lost politicians are willing to admit that they've been defeated before mm, the election. No, and remember, look, the Democrats are trying to mobilize their base, but they also need independents to come out with them right. and for them. And if they look at this, they're going right, to say well, the Leslie Democrats are really Leslie thinks it's a good idea, and crazy. she's speaking up for her own Democrats, so she should know. Coming up on deck, when President Obama's agenda... <laughs>